Shalom, beloved of Yah. It's Yah's little one here for the praise, honor, and glory of Yahweh, Yushua, and the precious Ruach HaKadosh. Well, warning against Fatal Error Network, part two. More evidence that Fatal Error Network is not the place you want to be if you are a true child of Yahweh, Yushua, and the precious Ruach HaKadosh, as I receive threatening PMs from the one who claims that he started Fatal Error Network. For those of you pretending to be Christians, but really serving the devil, like false pastor George C. or Lacey Bunny, it's fine for you to leave YouTube and join Fatal Error Network. It's only the true sheep and lambs of Yushua that I want to protect from going to this diabolical den of iniquity called Fatal Error Network. On the YouTube channels associated with this, this website, there's and also on this website, there's an image of a woman covered with blood uh, wielding a knife that has blood on it, and another image of a similar woman covered in blood pointing a gun at the viewer. <clears throat> indicating the intent to have human sacrifices, which I rebuke in the name of Yushua Mashiach, away from the true sheep and lambs of Yahweh, Yushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh. Thank you, Abi Yahweh, for watching over your children and for warning them and keeping them safe. Thank you, beloved Yushua, for you are the good shepherd, and you guide and lead your sheep and protect them and watch over them, and we praise you for that, Lord. This website, Fatal Air Network, is out for your money as there's a frequent message asking for users' financial support. So again, I say to the true lambs and sheep of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, don't go to Fatal Error Network. Don't join Fatal Error Network, where they want your IP address to locate you to send their curses, and Yahweh God knows what else against you. Yahweh God is reminding me of the Bible scripture about how David slew Goliath, which I share with you now. 1 Samuel 17, 31-51 now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and he sent for him. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living Yahweh. 
Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord Yahweh be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor, and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. So the Philistine came and began drawing near to David. And the man who bore the shield went, af went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and good-looking. So the Philistine said to, said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of Yahweh, Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord Yahweh will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistine to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord Yahweh does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. So it was. When the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone, and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead, so that the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone, and struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword, and drew it out of his sheath, and killed him, and cut off his head with it. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. End of quote. Using five smooth stones and with the power of Yahweh God Almighty, David killed a nine-foot-tall giant named Goliath that had that had stood off the army of Israel for 40 days. So too in these end times, Yahweh God is using his five wise virgins, the bride of Yushua HaMashiach, as standard bearers for the righteousness of Yahweh God, standing up for truth, righteousness, and justice against the wiles of the devil in these end times. Yahweh God is smoothing over his bride, smoothing over the rough edges, helping his bride to walk tall in him and grow in him and using his refiner's fire to remove anything that is not of him so that these five wise virgins can be as five smooth stones also ready to, to uh, confront the enemies of the children of Yahweh God. Amen. It is not by human power or might but by my strength, says Yahweh God Almighty, that the battle is won. Amen. So be warned, precious children of Yahweh, precious lambs and sheep of Yeshua. This is uh, Yah's little one signing off. May Yahweh God watch over you, protect you, guide and lead you now and always. Amen.